David Watts here with another quick Luminar video. This pertains to version 1.20, the Neptune release. And this specifically deals with the question of how we improve portraits and specifically skin smoothing. Now, I'm from the old uh, days of Aperture where we had a nice little brush to, uh, to bring some nice skin smoothing into our portraits. And most programs don't seem to have that simple of a solution. Here's what I've seen in Luminar, and I think it works pretty well, and it's something I'm trying to use, and uh, maybe it helps you as well. I don't claim any credit for this. I saw it elsewhere. I've tried to maybe take it and improve it just a little bit. Maybe you can take it and improve it even more. So that's my hope. Let's see what we can do. Here's a, a, a nice image. This is actually of my daughter. And let's see what we can do to improve the portrait just a bit. Uh, often I start with uh, the, the basic uh, accent uh, AI filter just to do a little bit of basic improvement. Let's take the filter off and back on and just subtle differences. That's all we're looking for. This image I don't think needs a huge amount of work. We might uh, bring the highlights back just a little bit. This is the advanced contrast tool. Maybe structure. We bring it down some, and this softens the image, which is in the direction we want to go anyway. And you know what? That may be it for now. Actually, let's add one filter I don't have, and that's uh, exposure, because we might need to play with exposure just a little bit. We'll see. Um, I'm going to tweak it just a little bit down. That just feels a little more realistic to me. Okay. Now, all this has been taking place in layer zero. In fact, let's just call this original plus adjustments. Let's add a new layer. It's the plus symbol up here and it'll be a new adjustment layer. In this adjustment layer I really want three things. I want soft focus, soft glow, and let's try the Orton effect. All of these will will soften an image. Now I don't know if this is exactly the best way to approach it but maybe it works for you. Here's something I've tried and something I've noticed. You see the word amount here, and frankly, just start by setting that slider at about that point. And you'll notice, by the way, the whole image softens. We're going to fix that in a moment. We don't want the whole image softening, although there's a lot of nice blurry background here. It may not hurt anything, but we don't really want the whole thing softening. We'll show that. Do the same on soft glow, right about there. Maybe even back it off just a little bit, something in this vicinity, and this Orton effect kind of right about in here. Again, we said we don't want this on the whole image, so now we're going to set up a brush mask, or a masking brush. And let's set opacity, and we're going to reduce the brush size just a little bit to make it easier to work with. Now, let's just start painting this adjustment in. So instead of affecting the whole image, now it's only going to affect these areas where we brush it in, which of course will be our model's face. And now we're essentially brushing in sort of a skin softening type approach. I'll use the same uh, setting down here on the neck. It, you, you might reduce the opacity uh, for that part, but uh, this is all judgment, this is all art. If you want to see how well we've laid down this mask with a brush, let's see the mask. And we do that with this symbol right here. And we can see we've missed a few spots. Let's make our brush a little smaller. We'll just come in here and just do a little more cleanup. And you might notice I got too aggressive and we caught part of her eyebrow. Let's see if we can uncover that with the, the uh, erase brush. And for now, let's say that's what we want. We're not striving for perfection here, just trying to demonstrate an approach. Now, all of this soft focus, soft glow, Orton effect is just taking place now on the area that we painted, on that mask. And so now that we can focus on that, maybe we see, yeah, let's bring this up just a little bit more. Let's bring up soft glow just a bit more, maybe a little more Orton effect. You can play with the other settings. Here's one for softness, and a lot of this will just be some trial and error. Now, holding that in mind, it, it appears to me that the image has gotten lighter because of this effect here. In fact, we need to just name that layer so we don't forget what this is. We'll call it skin smoothing layer. 
that's where we've done our skin smoothing work. It looks to me like that layer lightened up the image. Let's take the layer off for a moment. And sure enough, it did, didn't it? So there it is without the skin smoothing and putting it back on. It kind of lightened the image. Maybe we like that, but I think maybe, um, maybe I don't like that. So let's go back to our original layer. And this is where we might use that um, exposure. And let's just bring the exposure down just a bit. And then back to the skin smoothing layer. We might turn it off and back on and just see how we feel about it now. And I think that's pretty good. We could also tweak a brightness here as part of this uh, soft focus. Uh, there's also a little bit of a brightness here for the soft glow. I think we've ended up with a nice smoother sort of perspective. Still realistic though, and that's key. You don't want something that just looks cartoonish. Anyway, we can see where we started and see where we've ended. And I think that's pretty good. Now, one other thing we might do then is we could address small blemishes with just this erase tool. So this will create a new layer, an erase layer, and we can just hit a few of the small blemishes that might still exist, and that will be just sort of uh, icing on the cake, so to speak. So we'll give it just a second here to prepare the image and get it ready. And what we'll do is with a small brush size, we could probably go even a bit smaller. And I'm using the bracket keys close to the, the return key uh, to uh, change that brush size. So this, here's a little spot, tiny, but let's just mark it and click Erase and see how it does. And um, pretty good. You see a little bit of it left over. Let's see if we can't um, do a little better with this other one here. Here's one. And let's try to erase that. And actually not bad, but if we're not too thrilled with that, one thing we can do is we can cancel all of this. We could have hit Control Z as well. Let's just try one more time. I just wanted you to see you can always back out of this. You can always start over. It's non-destructive kind of editing. And let's see if we can make this just a little bit better. And we'll just try to position our brush a little more precisely, perhaps. In fact, we can also zoom in just a little bit more, and this can be helpful to us. So I think we actually need just a little bit larger brush. And let's click Erase. And we can still see it just a bit, but when we zoom back out, I think we're going to be in good shape. Let's try just a little bit here, a little bit here. These are very small blemishes, but just a little bit of final work. All right, those, those disappeared quite nicely. So we click Apply, and it'll save all that and bring us back to the main uh, screen, and we'll see our layers. And that really... Let's set our, our view back to 100%. And that really, I think, gives us a nice portrait with soft skin. Let's again see where we started. Here's the starting point. Here's where we ended. I think it's definitely an improvement. Anyway, the key is the technique. So you take that, make it better, make an improvement, and uh, maybe you'll share it with others as well. Hope that helps just a bit. Have a great day.